I'm Tim Torres, tech editor at Tech Times, and I'm here today at New York's first robotics competition and expo, where high school students from New York City, tri-state area, and all over the world come to take their built robots, robots they built themselves, here to compete. This is the event's 15th year, and this year, the event's theme is recycling. So let's go check it out. The idea is to have the robots stack as many gray crates and green recycling bins as possible. And it looks like the one in the far right is making a killing, stacking all the crates and the green bins on top of each other. The other ones don't even look like they have a chance. Uh, right now, I think they're under human control. They were under autonomous control, which means they were under their own control using AI for the first 15 seconds. I mean, this just... It's just fun watching these little doodads running around on their own wheels. And it looks like that's it. That's the end of the match. So you guys take this really seriously. You take notes, you take video ca camera footage of other people's robots. Yeah, uh, we have a setup in the stands where we have one person watching every robot every match. And we write down exactly what they're doing at what point. Uh, we tally down their scores, what goes wrong, what goes right. So that we have all that information. We put it into a computer, we crunch some numbers, and you know, we use that. Our team is a little unique. We're an all-girls team, and uh, we want to find a name that really says we're a strong team, and we want to empower, empower women to join STEM fields. And so we came up with Iron Maidens, not only because of the Sorge device, but also, you know, the band, which surprisingly, ironically, it matches, but also, you know, it sends a message that, you know, we're a team that is all girls, and we welcome any girls that are interested or even want to learn about robotics. So here we are with Iron Maidens. Can you tell me what you're doing with the 3D printer? 3D printing has been a big uh, player for our robot this year. So you 3D print uh, pretty much eyes. Uh, are these these are just uh, aesthetic qualities, right? Yeah, these no, are actually they're not working eyes. Yeah. yeah. Can you describe to me what sets a British robot? Because this is Brit this is a British robot. What sets it apart from Ameri an American one, or a Chinese one, or a Turkish one? The people that made it. You know, are obviously British, and that's that. That's what makes it a British robot, I guess. All our mentors and are all from the area, so yeah. What are, What's your ultimate goal after this or for this competition? Uh, for this competition, I'd like to see our robot and uh, all the team members have uh, a really good time. I want to see. Um, I want to see our robot working smoothly. Um, and I want to see, uh, I want to see our team make it uh, all the way to St. Louis. So I'd like. What happens in St. Louis? Uh, the championships. Well, I'm here with the Turkish team. They just gave me some delicious Turkish delight. And can you explain what brought you here? We want to win uh, the uh, rookie all star award. Then uh, go to finals, and it will be amazing for us. And uh, I think our team will be a great team years later, but uh, as I said, this is our first year, so uh, we are trying to do what we, what we can do best. It's crazy here. The, the brain power is unbelievable. You have kids, students building robots, having them compete, throw pool tubes. It's awesome. Check it out. I'm Tim Torres, tech editor at Tech Times.